what makes your music and the music y'all you make different from the artists, you know what I'm saying, around you? You know what I mean? As far as like in Springfield or even industry artists. Well, one thing I can say about my music for sure is mm-hmm. my shit is definitely true to me. Right. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, I'm not, you see these grades. I ain't one of these younger artists out here. I'm kind of seasoned. You know what I'm saying? Right, a little right. salt and pepper on my shit. You feel me? <laughs> so, with the being seasoned, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to hear that in my music. Right. Especially now. Maybe not then when I was like, I've been doing this forever. I've been, I literally wrote my first rap in 96. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. been on the scene musically in Springfield since the 90s. Like, mm. I did my first show. Shots out the, um, his birthday this past too. Shots out the, um, Wuna's dad. Oh, yeah. Ronnie, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Ronnie. Shout OG to Ronnie, Ronnie used to be the club promoter, like, pretty much what Kenny King of Clubs is now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what Ronnie used to be back in his wave. You feel mm. me? So pretty much, um, me and my me and my niggas like I always been in groups too. This shit is weird. I always been in groups. So me and my niggas had a group, and pretty much, um, one of uh, Wuna's other brother Wax. Yeah, yeah, Wax yeah. was in the group with yeah, us. Yeah. Wax used to rap too. For those that don't know, Wax used to rap. Wax had bars. But Wax was in the group and his hit with his dad being the promoter. Right. Shit, he put a show together for us. You feel uh, me? And I got to rock the stage early. So, you know what I mean? It's Springfield, man. I'm, I've been out here for a grip, man. You know what I mean? Doing this music shit. So, like, long story short, like, I'm seasoned. I've been mm-hmm, around for mm-hmm, a while. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you're going to be able to hear it in the music. That's what makes me different. You know what I'm saying? I'm still rapping on that boom bap style. You know what I mean? Like, I, that's, that's that the timeless, style I grew up in. Timeless pieces. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely get it, man. So, let me ask you a question. I heard you say something about, like, you, you always been in the group setting. You know what I'm saying? Is that something that you like? You look forward to, like you know what I'm saying? Like even when you like step out from your actual group, always to like a collaboration with somebody. I mean, I'm definitely cool with collabing. Niggas, shit got to be up to par though. Right, right. I'm gonna keep it a hundred, but right now I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Since I've always been focused on groups and shit like that. Right. Like not even focused on. I just been in groups. I, I haven't had the chance to really get to focus on just Dave the artist himself too oh. many times. And when I have. Something always got in the way because of life or some shit like that. Right, right. But I'm I'm definitely open to do collabs, but with niggas, that's nice. Right, right. I'm trying to focus on me right now. So as I've been a lot of people have been reaching out, because I've been dropping a little freestyles here and there. Right, right. Yep. So niggas been reaching out, and I'm going to keep it real. I've kind of been like ducking some shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? And not to be on no cocky shit, but it's like, I got to focus on me for a minute right now. I got to get that's my shit fact. hot. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I get you. I I've yet to same. prove myself. As it's a, a solo artist. Right. Niggas know I'm going to come with that heat, but like, can I come with a project by myself that's going to appeal to the people? So I'm focusing on me right now. I mean, I had a job for a grip. I wasn't even trying to rap. Right, right. But the nigga ain't working right now, so I got time. He said, I got time. You feel me? I got nothing but time, man. So what would that look like? You know what I'm saying? Uh, a Dave Hustle solo product. You know, I'm project. What would you... Like, if you could for us, like, imagine, I'm saying, I know you probably got hella solo joints and freestyles right now, so what what would you think, how how would you think that would play out? Like, one, like, I I got, I'm still trying to, like, it's crazy to say at this age, I'm still trying to find my sound. Right. And what I mean by that is, I got to get with a producer. Right. That's just going to try to build with me. Straight cater to you, hell yeah. You feel me? And get right with me. So once we, once we, once I get that. It's over for niggas. You feel mm. me? Like that's what all I really need is to just lock in with one producer, two producers, really. You know what I'm saying? And we just try to find the sound that's for me. You know what I mean? Cause like, really, like the shit I've been like, the shit that really got me inspired to rap again. I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you yeah. is Griselda. Okay, okay. When Griselda came on the scene, and I heard Benny, Conway, West Side, and them niggas, I'm like, damn, yo, they want to hear niggas. Rapping again. Right. That's a fact. And them niggas got my pen moving again. You know what I'm saying? So if I lock in with a certain producer, man, you're going to get the best of me. Trust. 